Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to give you a little top tip on when you're changing out control arm bushings or changing out your control arm, how to properly preload your bushings. Changing out most control arms is pretty easy. In this case, you have an upper control arm. All you have to do is unbolt the ball joint from the knuckle, pop that out, and then unbolt the control arm to body mount bolt, which is this camber bolt right here. That just unbolts there, slides right out. Same for this side. Then you take your control arm out, put your new control arm in, but now here's the most important part that a lot of people overlook. Right now the suspension is unloaded because it's just hanging there off the ground, there's no tire on, and essentially it's at the lowest point that your suspension can go. But this isn't where it normally sits, so we want to make sure we tighten the control arm bolts when the truck is on the ground. The reason why you want to torque these on the ground is because they're pretty much a cylinder with a rubber bushing in the middle. So the cylinder lies on top of the rubber bushing, and that rubber bushing is held into place right here, and it holds up against this body mount right here. So when you tighten it, the only thing that moves is this metal cylinder in the middle right here that's connected to the control arm end here. So if we tighten it now when it's in the air, you're going to put a lot of strain on this bushing. And that strain is going to cause premature wear and it'll wear out a lot quicker. And sometimes the rubber will actually tear when you drop the car. So the more suspension travel your car has, the more likely it's going to tear. But if you tighten this on the ground, then this will align properly. And since you're going to have your car on the ground, that's the position the suspension is most of the time and that'll make these bushings last a lot longer and give you a better ride. When you tighten the control arm bolts with the car or truck in the air, just tighten it so it snugs it up. You don't want to make it super tight because you want to still allow motion in here for when you drop the car on the ground. Then you can tighten it up all the way. So again, as you tighten this, you just want to snug it up. Good, just like that. It's tight enough so when you drop the car, your suspension won't move. So now we'll get the tire on and drop the truck onto the ground so that we can torque up the control arm bolts. With the tire on, now we'll drop the truck on the ground. So I have this set up so that as I drop the car, you'll be able to see the whole bushing actually move. You want to be able to see this outside edge right where my fingernail is move. This last piece of metal is actually going to twist with the control arm so that it's not binding. And since the suspension is still loose, make sure you drop the truck slowly. Since the car is on the ground, we can get in here and tighten it up and that'll have the correct preload on the bushings. The whole point of this video is to remind you to make sure you have your car or truck on the ground before you tighten the bolts so you have the correct preload on the bushings, whether you're working on the upper or lower control arms. This will prevent the bushing from binding, premature wear, and a possible torn bushing. If you thought this quick tip video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing, I publish how-to videos weekly, and I also answer all the questions and comments you guys leave in the comments section below. On the screen are going to be videos to show you how to change the upper control arm, the lower control arm, and the camber bolts. You could click on those videos on the screen, or you could find the links to those videos in the description below. Also in the description below are going to be the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. If you use Facebook or Twitter, check it out!